Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how to configure site-to-site -site VPN connections between two Azure virtual networks, also known as VNet. This video is part of the HDI Insight HBase Cluster Geo-Replication video series. In addition to this video, the series includes Configure DNS servers for the VNets and Create Geo-Replicated HBase Clusters. At the end of the video, I'll give you a link to the text version of this tutorial and the other videos in the series. To help you understand the configuration process, let me illustrate the steps. My goal is to create two virtual networks and connect them using VPN. I've defined a name, location, and IP address space for each of the VNets. The address spaces can't overlap each other. When I create a VNet to VNet connection, I need to configure the VNets to identify each other as a local network site. Each local network has the same address space as the corresponding VNet. The orange numbers represent the order of the steps. Notice the VPN gateway IP addresses for the local network configurations are missing. To get the address for the Europe VNet, I need to bind the Europe VNet to the US local network before I can create the VPN gateway. Then I can get the VPN gateway IP address to fill in the field. I'll repeat the same steps for the US VNet. At the end, I will set the same shared keys for IPsec and Internet Key Exchange for both VNets. Let's create the Europe VNet. To get started, I open the Azure portal. I'm going to use the Custom Create option to create a new VNet. I specify a unique name for my Europe VNet. This VNet resides in the North Europe region. By default, VNet uses a DNS server that is assigned by Azure. If I need name resolution within a VNet, I must configure my own DNS server. The second video of this series shows you how to create a virtual machine that is designated as a DNS server within a VNet. Because the DNS server is not created yet, I will leave the DNS server field blank. I will also come back to configure the site-to-site -site connectivity because I need to define the US local network before I can configure it. The next page is for configuring VNet address spaces. The starting IP address is 10.1.0.0. The address counts are 16 and 24. Now, I'll add the Europe local network. Think of local network as an alias to a VNet. Give it a name. I use LNet to represent local network. I won't know the VPN device IP address until I add a VPN gateway to the Europe VNet, so I enter an arbitrary IP address, and I'll come back to fix this later. The IP address space must match the Europe VNet address space, which is 10.1.0.0. Now, I need to create the US VNet. I specify a name for my US VNet. This VNet resides in the East US region. And I'll come back to the site-to-site -site configuration. I must make sure the VNet address space doesn't overlap with the Europe VNet address. The starting IP address of the US VNet is 10.2.0.0. The address counts are 16 and 24. Let's add the US local network. I'll use the same type of naming convention as I used for the Europe local network, so I call it contoso-lnet-us. I'll enter an arbitrary VPN device IP address for now. The local network address space must match the US VNet address space. When we look at the status column, it shows that both VNets are created. With two pairs of VNets and local networks created, 
The next step is to configure the Europe site to site connectivity. I switch to the Europe VNet Configure tab. I check Connect to the local network and specify the US local network. Click Add a gateway subnet and I save my changes. Now let's create the VPN gateway for the Europe VNet. I switch to the Dashboard tab. I click Create Gateway and I specify Dynamic Routing. Only Dynamic Routing is supported for this configuration. I may have to wait over 20 minutes for this process to complete. After it is complete, the portal shows the IP address for the VPN gateway of the Europe VNet. Notice the VPN gateway diagram shows disconnection and the colour is in blue and grey. The colour will change to blue and green when there is a connection. Make a copy of the IP address. Let's go back and configure the VPN IP address in the Europe local network. Update the VPN device IP address field. Now I can follow the same steps to configure the US VNet site to site connectivity. I switch to the US VNet Network Configure tab. I check Connect to the local network and specify the Europe local network. And let's save the change. I want to create a VPN gateway for the US VNet. I switch back to the Dashboard tab. I click Create Gateway and select Dynamic Routing to add a Dynamic Routing VPN gateway. Make sure to copy the IP address. I update the US Local Network VPN Device IP address field within the VPN Gateway IP address. And the last step is to set the VNet VPN gateway keys using Azure PowerShell. The keys must match each other. If you haven't installed Azure PowerShell, you can use the Microsoft Web Platform Installer to install it. I open the Windows PowerShell ISE. I use Add Azure Account commandlet to connect to my Azure subscription. I use Select Azure Subscription to select the Azure subscription for this activity. And I use Set Azure VNet Gateway Key commandlet to set the gateway key for the Europe VNet site-to-site -site connectivity. Then I run it again for the US VNet. I go back to the Dashboard tab of the Europe VNet Notice the diagram still shows disconnection. I click Connect. Now the visual diagram shows connected with colours in blue and green, which means that the connection is complete. And that's all there is for this video clip. To see other videos in this series, check out the link. Thanks for watching.